Good evening, listeners, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Fear, Fear the, the Queer. Queer, a podcast that talks about everything on our gay agendas. I'm Kyle. And I'm Josh. And on tonight's episode, we are discussing our sexual, sexual awakenings. awakenings. Oh. <gasps> Sexy. Mm. Uh, okay. But before we begin, <laughs> Josh, what are we drinking tonight? We are drinking tequila sodas. Based off of this lovely bottle of tequila resposado that, that I a, got. That's a pretty bottle. It is. I like Actually, that. a friend got it for me when they were in Mexico. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Well, so cheers, cheers queers. Mm. Oh, I love this drink. Oh, I love this drink. Shout out, Jessica Wilde. Okay. Well, before we get into the heart of our gay agenda tonight, we're going to be doing a new segment called Gay ASMR, in which we talk about gay shit. But in the style of ASMR. Yes, queen. Josh, are you ready to spill all of that tea? Yes, honey, spill all that scalding tea. I think it's time for you to take your prep. Oh my god, you're so right. I can't be late. Should I take it with? My iced coffee. Mm. Ah. Sis, you drink iced coffee so much. Um, excuse me, I have places to go, bitch. Clutch my pearls. This is the sound of me waiting for a grinder date to show up at my apartment. Now to get to the heart of our gay agenda, sexual awakenings. Ooh, my nipples are hard already. Ooh. It is. (laughs) I was going to say, it's not that cold in here, but good for you, sis. (laughs) So Josh and I were talking the other day about how everyone seems to have different kinds of like sexual awakenings. Mm -hmm. And for like heterosexual people, I feel like. It always has cartoons. It's always weird cartoons. Right. Like Robin Hood? Robin. Yeah. Like, like the Disney Robin Hood. Yeah. Yeah. So we were talking and I was like, we should talk about our early sexual awakenings Mm -hmm. because there was this meme going around and I think it's relative to both of us. Oh, which one? The, um, you're gay now because you walked down the Target underwear aisle. Yes, actually, that is, I think that's pretty relevant to any little gay child. (laughs) Oh my god, I I don't know what it is, but when you walk down the underwear aisle, Mm -hmm. the men's underwear aisle, that is, and you see bulges, I'm like, oh. Bulges, six-pack abs. Oh, that's a penis. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Was there, was there an underwear line you gravitated towards the most? Um, usually, uh, Hanes. <laughs> There's yeah. something, I don't know why, but Hanes, I was always like, you seem kind of dirty. Mine was the Calvin Klein ones. because they were Where just were so- you shopping that there was Calvin Klein underwear? JCPenney. Rich. <laughs> I was at Walmart. I was a rich woman. I was at Walmart. I was looking at men's underwear ads at the dollar store as a mm-hmm. child. I was just happy that people could wear underwear for a dollar. <laughs> well, actually, I remember when I found out I actually was gay was in the underwear line aisle. Um, really? Yeah, so I was roughly, I was in like third grade, so that's like, what, 10 or so? Yeah. 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 So I just remember we were shopping um, at the Mall of America, actually, and we were in... So fancy. I know. <laughs> it was just, you know, a casual trip to the Mall of America. No big deal. What privilege. Right. Um, we just went out um, from Camp Snoopy, and we're like, oh, let's go shopping at JCPenney now. And I don't know why we went to Mall of America to shop at JCPenney, but we did. Maybe it was a Macy's. We didn't have one of those in Iowa. 
I, yeah, I didn't. I didn't walk into a Macy's till I was like sixteen. Mm. And they're like, "Get out!" They're just like, "I was like, I'm here for an application. Get out!" Yeah, <laughs> they just spray you down with perfume. Get they're out! Like, we <laughs> saw you in here last time in the men's underwear aisle. Yeah. <laughs> so I was walking down the aisle, and I remember there was an underwear ad, but it had a man and a woman on it, and the woman oh. was in just a black bra and panties, and the guy, um had tattoos on, which is kind of surprising for an underwear ad. He was wearing tattoos? Yes, he was wearing tattoos. <laughs> he said that guy Lisa had... Frank tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you knew you were gay. Lisa. I was just like, oh my god! <laughs> Lisa Frank tattoos. No, he had tattoos, underwear which was model. kind of weird. And I just remember like, kind of just like looking up at the guy, and he was smiling over her, and I was just like, oh wow, he's so cute and everything. And then all of a sudden, I went so red in the face. I was like, I like boys. And I got you. You knew that. Mm-hmm. You like knew, I just okay. when I saw that guy, I was like, "Oh my fucking god, I like boys!" And I got so red in the face, and I ran away. And I was just like, "Oh my god!" And then I just <laughs> you turned into a muppet. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and, and then my mom was just like, "What's wrong?" And I was like, "Nothing." And then I suppressed that for years. Sure. I was just like, "Nope, you never think about that again." Nope, get that out of your mind. Well, you could have been like, "Oh, it was her tatas, her in her black." Bra. Well, actually, that's when I started to look at porn. Oh, at 10 years old? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah, because I was just like, oh, well, I need to figure out, like, what I'm looking into. And I used to Uh have um, LimeWire. Did you used to have that growing up? Where you would download, like, music illegally? I'll be real. I don't know what LimeWire is. Oh, okay. So basically... Wait, is that the thing that would... It's like Napster. Like, you know how... Um, did you ever watch... Oh, wait. Social Network? Yeah. You know how he, he created Na- Napster? Napster. Okay. So Napster was where people could actually share music files back and forth with each other. And Legally? So, no, illegally. Oh. That's why it shut down. Oh. And LimeWire stayed out around for a while. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. So I used to download porn on, through LimeWire. <laughs> did you have your own computer? No. It was a family computer. And I, I was 10. I didn't know how computers really worked. So like all this porn was just like... Your mm. parents are like enjoying it also. <laughs> Yeah. They're like, wow, Josh has good taste for uh, uh, pervy 10-year-old. Right, this is really classy. Um, no, they caught me, and I was just like, oh. Uh, they I... caught you? Yeah. Oh, well, my God, I well, never knew any of this. Oh, yeah, well, it's, you just have it on your computer. I didn't, like, you know, move it to any special fit, hidden folder. Um, and they're just like, uh, what were you doing? And I just remember I made up a lie. I was just like, the guys came over, and they just wanted to do funny things, and we just downloaded porn and laughed at it. And I was, like, crying hysterically. <laughs> I am so shook that you would lie even to say that you had guy friends. <laughs> like, I did. Guys came over. Yeah, guys came over. They're like, you have no friends. They're like, all your friends are girls. Yeah. <laughs> no! Like, is, that why, is that why all the porn is like big dick like, <laughs> daddies? Yeah, like, big dick energy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I, so that was a very long first sexual awakening for me. Wow. I feel like... I nothing can compare. And no. Well, I okay, so like we had, you know, we had the family computer, so I wasn't really discovering any sexy porny type things. Wow, lame. E- e- via the computer. I was kind of a late bloomer. Um, but I do, It was only 3 weeks ago it was, when I found out what porn It was 3 weeks ago that my sexual awakening came. <laughs> no, I um so obviously I definitely enjoyed the underwear aisle. Mm-hmm. Um but I think that a lot of mine started to come around, no pun intended, um, <laughs> from my dad's men's health magazines. Oh, I don't even know what they looked like back then. Oh my god! Well, they, I don't know. I don't know who creates men's health, mm-hmm. um, but they definitely know that gay men will look at it because, mm-hmm. like, at like thirteen or fourteen, I was like stealing my dad's men's health magazines and I specific- <laughs> and was working out. <laughs> I was like specifically do you see me? No. <laughs> I specifically remember taking one that had Taylor Kitsch. Is that his name? Taylor Kitsch on it? He Kitch? was on there? Yes. Wait, it how was old like, were you? I was like it was like thirteen, like two thousand three. Oh like really? Yes. I guess that is that old. Yeah, yeah. And it was, I was like, oh my god, I thought he had like an amazing body. But I also Tim Riggins. But you're yeah, right. Um but I also was kind of thinking, like, okay, well, maybe I just want to look like these people. I think a lot of gay people deal with that, where they're like... Body dysmorphia. Well, they're like, I want, do I want to look like this person, or do I want to fuck this person? Right. Because you don't really understand that. Um, and it wasn't until, like, years later that I started developing, like, little crushes on guys, mm, but also mm-hmm. not realizing what that meant necessarily. 
Um, like you just thought you were good friends who sucked each other's dicks. That never happened. I will 110% be like, no, I, that was not my sexual awakening. It was more like, um, you know, going to Boy Scout camp and everyone was signing up for like the lifeguard merit badge. Mm-hmm. And here I am, this little plump, like 13, 14 year old. And all my friends are like thin and in shape and like skinny. Because they read Men's Health. They read, <laughs> they, they, they read Men's Health differently than I did. Yeah. And I uh, just remember, like, you had to jump into the pool. Mm-hmm. And the lifeguard, like, you had to pretend that you were drowning. Because um, contrary to maybe popular belief, I'm a very good swimmer. And it's not because I'm very buoyant. I was going to say, is it because you float? <laughs> no. Well, you have to learn to float. Yeah. No, I'm a great swimmer. Um. And I remember, like, the lifeguard had to, like, jump in and pretend to, like, save you. And, oh, my God, having, like, this lifeguard. So I'm, like, 13 or 14, right? Mm -hmm. And he's probably, like, 16. And he'd have to, like, jump in. And, of course, like, perfect pecs. Oh, my God. Wait, how old were you? Like, 13 or 14. Oh. So he was, like, a few years older. Yeah. It wasn't, like, a call-me-by-your-name situation. It was, like... I mean, a six-year-old with perfect pecs? Okay. Did you say a six-year-old? 16. I thought you said a six-year-old with perfect pecs, and I was like, we're canceled. <laughs> this, this podcast is officially canceled. We're very sorry about that. Right. Enjoy gay SMR. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but, like, I think maybe that's where, like, I love nipples. Oh, you just discovered Maybe that. that's it. He does love nipples. I don't know why. Maybe it was, I remember like, I was wearing an Aladdin costume two years ago, and he kept mentioning my nipples. They were out and ready to party. And they were. That was my sexual awakening, was Josh's Aladdin costume, <laughs> which that was the only person to be sexually awakened by that. Fair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I think that like Boy Scouts, I remember one summer I was 15. Did you have and, to wear like little boy shorts? Um, Yeah, we had like little shorts and stuff like that. I mean, I had cargo shorts, but the official like Boy Scout uniform, you, which Boy Scouts of America is like a garbage organization, but... Mm-hmm. Um, the, I don't know, like, their little, like, olive green short shorts that came up, like, above the knee. Who wears short shorts? Boy Scouts wear short shorts. <laughs> um, it was, like, very, like, that's just our fans because it's fucking hot. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're hearing this in the background, we're utilizing our fans right now. It is so warm right now. Um, but I just remember one year I was taking a merit badge, mm-hmm. and it was a not tying merit badge. A what? Like, tying knots. Oh. Yeah. And I forget, what was it called? (laughs) I was just like, I'm not Thai. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, Kyle, you're really problematic. I'm not Thai. Right. Like, I'm Korean. Oh, my God. And, like, I get that the Boy Scouts are problematic, but it wasn't that kind of problematic. (laughs) Um, But I remember, like, I was the only one taking that um, merit badge. There was, like, maybe two other people in my group. Sure. So every day I would, like, go... And there was this guy, and he was actually from Chicago. Oh. And... In Michigan? Yeah. Like, he, he was a camp counselor. Oh. And... Right. So... Wow, he fell really hard. <laughs> what do you mean? From glory. Living in Chicago to being a camp counselor. It was Michigan. for the summer, though. That's not that's not that unusual. Mm. But he, like... I don't know. I developed, like, a mad crush on him, and it would be like, I don't know how to tie this knot. And he'd be like, oh, here you go. And he would, like, take my hands and, like, help me tie the knots. And then we would talk about, like, oh, Chicago. And I'd be like, oh, my uncle lives in Chicago. And he'd be like, oh, that's so cool. I'm like, so where do you live? And he's like, well, no one lives in the city. I'm like, my uncle lives in the city. And now we live in the city. So Mm -hmm. he clearly didn't have an understanding of how things work. But I was like, was he from Juliet? Yeah, no, he was, like, from a suburb. Mm. Um, But I definitely was, like, I don't know. Did you try to, like, tie his, like, shorts you no, know how like shorts I have like, like tie strings. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel like I do think that like you know when you're like showering, like when you're I don't know like a when kid. When you're like showering. Well, when you, when you're a kid showering before going into a pool, like at pool parties and stuff like that. Yeah. And you're like, ooh, the water got wet on your dick, and it's like it has like the dick imprint. That's a sexual awakening. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, yeah, except when I never experienced that. Oh my god! You'd be like in the showers, and I'd just be like, you know. I would pretend like, oh man. You're, he's holding his boobs right now. I was holding. <laughs> That's I, what you would be doing. I, I, yes, I would. No, straight up, I'd be like, I am so fat. I'm covering my tits. And I would be like in the corner, but like kind of look over. And there'd always be guys in their swimsuits. But you know what happens when swimsuits get wet? They form to the body. <laughs> yeah. 
So I, I mean, know. we always had like board shorts, so like it wasn't. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't really see much, and you're like, yes, but well, you're a little boy. Like, no, no, don't dicks. see. Oh my god, do not say little boy because that makes it so creepy. Well, we uh, were it was, like though. fourteen. And they oh. also were like 14. I thought we were talking about like eight. I'm just like, what dick was even there? No, no. I oh god, no, Jesus, please don't cancel us. <laughs> cancel Josh. You can follow me at Kyle Parker minus the E on Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, and suddenly he's canceled too. <laughs> and suddenly <laughs> they go to my Instagram. And they're like, no thanks. Yeah. Um, no, I just think that like Boy Scouts, as awful as it was, mm-hmm. something about like having really hormonal boys all camping mm-hmm. and swimming and doing all these like merit badges together mm-hmm. you're kind of like oh oh actually i um were you ever in boy scouts no i was never in boy scouts fuck oh. that but i do i do agree oh with like horny little boys like really because, oh yeah because one of my other sexual awakenings had to do with a fucking horny boy because oh. yeah it was so, you <laughs> it was me i was just like oh my god i'm so horny is this sexual <laughs> ah! no um i was in fifth grade when this happened okay yeah thanks. and so like even though like i saw porn like when i was younger you had a full collection on your parents computer we get it yeah i did i had a library um <laughs> but i never actually masturbated to any of it i still didn't really know what oh, that was yeah i didn't know what masturbating was for for way longer than i should have yeah mm. we'll talk about that in a second okay i was just <laughs> like oh um so anyway so i had a friend and he uh, we, him and I like would goof around and things like that like, in the sense of like we would like play after school and like mm-hmm. you know hang out and play video games and things like that but there was one day where we had to pair up into partners and we had to do story time which like read out loud to each other which mm-hmm. most of the time we would just pretend to read to each other but then we would talk yeah you just like fuck there. around yeah. yeah so he's just laying in the bean bag and he's reading the book and I noticed that his other hand just goes down his pants <gasps> And I'm what? just, and he just starts, like, starts, like, grabbing himself. And I'm just, and he was just like, sorry, it itches. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, my God. And, like, I was trying really hard not to look. I was just like, oh, my God. But I just remember, I was like, oh, this is weirdly turning on. But don't look. Don't look at this. But then right. I noticed he kept doing it. Like, he kept, like, pulling at his dick. And, like, then it just became, like, a steady, like, rhythm. And I was just like, what are you doing? He's just like, sorry, I'm horny. And I was just like... How, you were in fifth grade? Fifth grade, yeah. What school? Where was the teacher? Where were the other students? Well, I am so shocked right now. I know. Well, and also, I, I'm such a prude. <laughs> well, it only happened for like 25, 30 seconds. And then I think you going to say 25, 30 minutes. And I was like, oh my God, Oh my girl. God, ew, no. And then like he just like pulled it out. But I was just like... Oh pulled my. what out? He pulled his hand out of his pants. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I, I, I was like, what kind of story time right. were you have? <laughs> Right. I'm so shook. But then I was just like, oh my God. Like, this is, I was just like so beat red. You like I got like, the Perel. Well, I was just like, I could not look at him in the face. He's just like, dude, what's the problem? Everyone does it. And I was like, ah! And that was the first time I was ever really exposed to masturbating. Okay, I will say this. Mm-hmm. This is what public schools teaches. Right. This is public schools. Sexual Cause awakenings. Because I, I went to parochial school and I didn't know you goddamn what? shit. Parochial? Oh. It's like religious school. So I went to Lutheran school. You could have just said Lutheran school. <laughs> I thought that you would know what parochial meant. I know three syllable words at best. Because of public school. No, <laughs> I, no, I remember like I didn't know what masturbating was until like I was almost 15. I just put down my glass in shock. <laughs> he is staring at me because he's judging me. F- almost. I was still 14. I thought people in my class had sex at 13. What? Yeah. What? What? I don't understand. Well, okay. So I remember that was the big thing back in eighth grade when was uh, having sex. No, no, no. Like, mine was Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Smash Bro. No. <laughs> no, that's called reading time. Ah. Yeah. Exactly. No. I. Yeah. He was the first person to expose me to masturbating, and I remember then afterwards, like it was about a like a few months afterwards. That's when I started doing it. Okay. Like I. But actually, this kid was really sexual, because I remember... Sorry, this one totally Do you still know who this is? Yeah. I mean, I don't talk to him anymore. Okay, but he's, like, around, like, your, like, Facebook friends? Yeah, he's my roommate. No, I'm kidding. Oh, my God. Uh, Show me, like... What? (laughs) You're... What? No, he, um... I remember later, he was in the library, and, like, he always would man-spread. Like, I don't know. Apparently, his dick just must have been really huge, because he always had to play around with it. And so he was, like, man-spread, like, at one of the reading tables, and... One of the girls sat down, and she's, like, just talking with him, and they're both, like, giggling or whatever. And all of a sudden, I know she pulls her foot out and, like, taps him on his balls. Like, and she was, like, wearing, like, a sandal. So it's just, like, it was very 
thin material between the two of them. I am so shocked that she was wearing a sandal (laughs) in the library. Right. And I'm like, these are fifth graders. And she's just like, she's just like, oh, gotcha. I can't handle that. I am, I am surprised because Mm -hmm. like when we were like, oh, we should talk about sexual awakenings. Everything happened. I was, I guess I'm a really late bloomer. (laughs) It was like happened to him two years ago. Oh my god! Well, yeah, no, but like I remember like people talking about like you know jerking off and stuff like that. And also, I thought that jerking off, jacking off. I thought the boners. Oh my god! When I first heard the term boner, Mm -hmm. I thought that there was an actual bone that like went into your penis to make it hard. I think a lot of kids actually think that. But like I thought that like in eighth grade, we had. I could see that. But like. I don't know. I guess I look back at it now and I'm like, wow, you idiot. (laughs) That definitely happens. No. When did you have sex ed? Okay, so our sex ed, this I think kind of fucks with me because like our sex ed was always like God and the new me or like Jesus and my ever changing body or Mm -hmm. like like that kind of thing. So it was always taught, like we would always learn more of like the biological sense of things. Okay. And then there'd be like a Bible verse after it. So it'd be like, um, you know, like your bodies are changing and hair will appear in your armpits and your private areas. So it's more like puberty. It was more puberty. And then it was very clinical when it would come to like, this is what sex is. And so, and I mean, like my mom and dad talked to me about sex. It wasn't like a private thing. It, I mean, sex is private. Well, you know. Se- <laughs> They're just doing it in front of him. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, oh God, I, how do you, I, no, it was like this this was like, okay, we're going to explain to you what sex is. Mm-hmm. And any questions? And I was like, nope, can I go now? And it was like, I'm just going to like go, you know, play with Barbies or Star Wars or draw or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, I, I didn't even understand like what jacking off really was. Because I was like, so you just like hold the penis. <laughs> Nothing's happening. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's why it took to almost 15. Because I was like, I'm not, I, I was like, so... I get, he's like, this is overrated. <laughs> legit. I would, like, turn on um, 89.7, or uh, 89X. That was the new rocker alternative outside of Detroit. It was okay. actually a Canadian station. Oh, okay. So I'd be, like, listening to, like, Tegan and Sarah, and, like... <laughs> um, oh, my God. Yeah, and I'd be like... Nothing's happening. <laughs> the yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like heads will roll. Yeah, because I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> um, and it wasn't until I was like 15 or 16 that I was like, okay, I get this a little bit more now. <laughs> oh, um, now I get it. Now I get it. So there has to be some motion in the ocean. Um, and I think, and I've talked about this before, I really think that Zach Efron was a huge sexual awakening for me. Nice segue. I think he was. I think that Zac Efron, like, I was, like, 16, and I've talked about this on this podcast. I think it was the coming out episode, so, like, our first episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I talk about how Zac Efron... We that, also like, talked about him in our Fuck, Mary Kill episode. Oh, my God. Yeah. He just is, like... He's just a recurring theme for you. He just... He's... he. Is, yeah, I would not... Nowadays, I don't know if I'd be that into it. He's just, like, too muscular now. Uh, he, he's still very hot. Oh, God, I know. Okay. But I, remember, I was trying to be, like... Low key, I actually, like, and now I think about it, another sexual awakening for I feel like a lot of gay boys was his Rolling Stone magazine cover. What was that one? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. With the white t-shirt and he was like, what? My sister had that poster. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh and like God. his abs were peeking oh, through. Oh, my God. In the happy trail. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm having an awakening all over again. <laughs> Um, Zach Efron, I think if he knew, he has done so much for the gay community. And he doesn't even realize he it. He doesn't even realize it. He has um, raised millions for the LGBTQ community. He's raised community. millions in uh, therapy fees for people who just don't understand what's happening. Isn't his brother gay? I think so. I mean, I, we totally could have made that up. Yeah, I, I'd be like, oh yeah, his brother's gay. I don't know. Um, sexual awakening. No. He doesn't even have a brother. <laughs> We're like, isn't oh, his brother gay? I think he does have a brother because I think he's hot. Oh. oh my god. Zach oh, maybe Efron. his brother is just hot too, and maybe I just made it up that he's gay. It maybe that's one of the categories of the porn that you downloaded was like hot brother gay. Hot brother gay. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> um, so you were really into Zach Efron. I love Zach Efron and I loved uh Panic at the Disco. I was a little bit older at this point. Brendan Yuri. Brendan Yuri so and had... Ryan Ross. Oh, like so this that is like was when like you were... in high school. So like as like, a, like that was, like, my real sexual awakening. Mm-hmm. And, like, me realizing I was attracted to guys was all, like, 
I don't want to say superficial, but it was like little things like well, being in Boy Scouts with friends. And I don't know. You're watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's very superficial. I know. But like, I, I don't think I watched porn until I was like 17 or 18. Wow. Yeah. Did you even know and how it was, to? No, no. Well, okay. So like we had Did you really go to the library shoddy. and try to like no, check it out? <laughs> no. We had like really shoddy internet when I was growing up. It was like dial up until I was 20. You had dial up till you were 20? I feel very judged in this moment. You are very judged. You're 20 years old. That was like what? Okay. Well. 2010 and you had dial up? I, okay. Oh so, my God. Oh my God. So I, I mean, I didn't grow up with cable and like my mom had dial up until I was like. 19 or 20 and then my dad Meg that is child abuse <laughs> if, if she's listening to this wow you're gonna hear an earful of things right? <laughs> um you had sex in front of your child and <laughs> she oh please like my parents were ever having sex they were like ready to <laughs> sign the divorce papers after my sister was born right and yet they're like great friends now so that's cute um hashtag modern family sure no it's like yeah my mom had dial up till I was 20 and then she moved and then had Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. And then my dad had dial-up until he got remarried to my stepmom. And, like, he didn't have a computer until I was 18. Mm. And it was, like, when I was, like, graduating from high school that he got a computer. And you were just like, Dad, how do you open a new tab? No, no, <laughs> no. I was, like, and, 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 like, the porn was, like, not porn. It was, like, like, Aeropostel. Not Aeropostel. God. Um... Hollister models. Oh, you upgraded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I upgraded. I was like, give me that. Are you talking Siegel. about the Abercrombie models? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like that. That was like what I was looking up to make it seem like less inconspicuous. Sorry, now I'm like having like all these memories. Do, do you remember the live action Peter Pan movie that came out in like 2003? The kid who was blonde. Yeah. And like shirtless. Yeah. So. Yes, I do. Okay, so he made a movie called Addicted, and it was on Lifetime. What? And it was about him being a teenager addicted to porn. What? Yeah. That is crazy that they had your life story on there. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember he... And a white actor played you. I know. I just remember. Actually, Jeremy Sumter was one of my sexual awakenings. Wait, who's Jeremy Sumter? Peter Pan. You know his name. I do know his name. Oh he was God. one of my big sexual awakenings. I really? totally forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because oh I remember he Well, did... he had that weird little leaf loincloth bullshit. Right. Well, he did a movie or well, he did a movie called Addicted. And that was actually... I saw that before, Peter Pan. Okay. And it's basically him being addicted to porn. Oh and he, you know, is watching... Well, I mean, it's Lifetime, so he's, like, watching, like, softcore porn where it's just, like... So it was me. Yeah, exactly. But he would get addicted to it. He then, like, would, like, they would kind of insinuate he's masturbating. <gasps> and so, like, you know, as a kid, I'm just like, oh, my God, this oh is my scandalous. God. I, it, and he... Uh, I remember I would then want to rent a lot of his movies just so I could watch him in it. But he only had three movies. Yeah, Peter <laughs> Pan, that, and something else. I don't know. Um... I just, wow, I just realized that was one of my sexual awakenings. You know, I never saw that movie, but I did see a lot of interviews with him in it, and they said that they had to, he grew so fast during the filming of that, Mm -hmm. they had to, like, make his costume, and I Mm -hmm. remember being like, oh my. Yeah. So he's tall now. Yeah. Peter Pan is tall. I don't know what happened to him. Yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Tom Felton in the Harry Potter series. Who's Tom Felton? Uh, Draco Malfoy. A blonde. Mm Mm-hmm. I know. I know, this is like not who I, this is not my taste as an adult. But remember, I also grew up in Iowa, so I only thought white people existed. I was like the only person of color ever. (laughs) Wow, I'm like, well, I didn't watch Harry Potter, so like, I don't, I don't know. Oh, but just like the bad boy with like the sleek blonde hair, and he wore a suit, and it's just like, and he's like 15, and I'm just like, mm. See, I was all about like Zac Efron in High School Musical, but also Zac Efron as Link Larkin. But he was fat. <laughs> Zac Efron, I don't think has ever been fat. No. Do you remember him? And was it called like Summerland or something like that? It was like a surfer show. I forget what that was called. But he had like Oh, and Jesse fit- McCartney was on it. Jesse McCartney yes, was also a sexual yes, weapon. Yes, yes. Um, I just, I think it's so funny. You're your beautiful soul. At first I thought you were singing like James Blunt. Oh, you're beautiful. We don't need that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh my god, Summerland. I totally forgot about mm-hmm. that. Jesse McCartney. On the was, WB. Yeah, was Jer... No, what was his face? Who were we talking about? Zac um, Efron's Zac like Efron. older brother, wasn't he? I don't know the connection. Oh. I didn't watch it that much. I was like... Can you imagine two of those hotties like just like sharing a house together? I, oh my god. I'm, I'm shook. 
I know. I'm not like going to go down this rabbit so hole of like all these sh- sexual well, awakenings. I think it like it, this is the new awakening of your sexual awakening as a child. Right. Because I'm actually like re- like pulling back all these things that I like repressed over the years. Oh my. Well, I guess this is good. This is what, what it's all about. <laughs> it's therapy. I, I think it's funny because I was just like in my head, I was like, wow, I, it really, it took a while for me to ever get into acknowledging that I was attracted to the same sex. Mm-hmm. So I think I just... I don't know if I repressed it, but I think I was just like, oh, like, not I mean, in. I, I'm not into anyone. Yeah. Oh, that's what I would say all the t- time too. I'd be like, I'm not into anyone, but I knew at the time I was like, oh, they're attractive, but I never thought anything else besides that. Would you ever be like, did you ever have crushes on friends? Uh, no, because everyone from my school was garbage. Um, I didn't have crushes on friends, but I did in high school have like crushes I wouldn't say crushes but there were like certain people that were not good people like they were like bullies they were like jocks but I was like oh my god they were really hot mm. but then you look at them now on Facebook and I'm like you look like you were hit by a car <laughs> and I you mean have- that still is your type <laughs> I always say my type is kind of like a Flintstone Neanderthal and that he can yabba dabba do me yep and I just call them dirty gross people I don't know what it is I, they always like people with like missing teeth. I like, like well, they not, look like they haven't showered in a couple of days. No, they but like but they have showered. But like, that's the gross thing too. Like, it's like shower more. No, they like they're like interesting in artist. Maybe they've gone on a long hike. Um, Ew. Yeah, like they're hiking or like they they love the beach. They're, I mean, like, all sandy from the beach. I mean, there's a difference between a beach boy and like someone who hasn't showered in days. <laughs> I'm thinking of, like, the Beach Boys, like, the singers. There's a difference between the classic <laughs> rock band Beach Boys. Uh, no, actually, um, I never had crushes on boys, but I remember my very first man crush was when I was in college. Um, who? Um, I'm not going to say his name, because... Uh, oh, a real person. Yeah, it's a real person. Oh. No, it's a friend of mine. <gasps> um, yeah, so, when, oh. so I went to school at University of Iowa for film, and I met a friend who I have not talked to in a long time, and I kind of hate that. Because of the restraining order. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I he was my first guy crush. I remember, like, I actually, like, developed feelings for him. And that was probably my most recent sexual awakening before I came out. Wow. Yeah. So him and I had a lot of film classes together, and we randomly had to get paired up for an assignment one day. Mm-hmm. And he was kind of cold at first to me like he was kind of to the touch yeah he was just like um i need you to do this this and this Mm -hmm. and like he kind of talked as if like i couldn't do it (laughs) and knowing me you know i was just like i can do anything i want to and you probably had the look on your face of like what yeah i was just like excuse me i was like you know what i'm gonna prove i'm wrong i'm gonna prove i did it and then i remember when we actually did shoot the production he was just like oh good job man like you know like thanking me for my hard work, and I just remember I was like, I got his approval. And Maybe then we that can do started... reading time. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we, you can read me a book later. You can read me a book with your hand um, in your pants. Well, I remember he had a nice chest, and he. I love a nice chest. Mm-hmm. And of drawers. And it was always I don't know. It was like one of the first times when he was clearly a straight guy, mm-hmm. but you know, like when you're kind of afraid of straight men most of your life because you were bullied by them. Me, and then, still now. Right, and then you have that one straight friend who is really nice and like accepting of you, and I was just like... <laughs> keep going. Well, I was no, like, I'm, le- I'm sorry, keep going. I was just like, wow, I, wow I'm developing this major crush on you, and I kind of hate it. And then there was the time where he like couldn't really hang out nearly as much because mm-hmm. we both graduated, and he went on to like get a job somewhere else because I made him busy. And I was like, we're not hanging out as much. I hate this, and I miss him, and I don't want to admit that I miss him. I can't ever tell him that I miss him. That'd be weird. And Well, that also plays into like fragile masculinity. Because yeah. like, I feel like you should be able to say that you miss but a I, Yeah, but I clearly had a crush on him. I mean... And then later... I, but I didn't realize it was a crush. I kind of just was just like, like I miss uh-huh. my friend. Like I miss like, being yeah. around him. I miss like, hanging out with him. And now, like looking back, I was like, oh, I had a major crush on him. You're like, how come every time when I would say his name, I got a boner? Right. <laughs> no, I started laughing because you're like, remember like... The, that, like, one straight guy who would, like, end up being nice to you, I started laughing because I thought of two people immediately who were straight when I first met them and are now very gay. So... <gasps> oh! So, so you never um, had a straight man be nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> God, that is not true. I'm sure there's... No. I'm sure there might be half a straight guy No, there. <laughs> No, it's wild. Is like, I have a lot of friends that... 
they're queer now, but they but they were they were straight when I first met them. I had a I did have a crush on this one guy. I won't say his name, but um, I have to set down my drink for this. Um, this Ooh, is girl. like yeah, this is like a few. This is like maybe like seven years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and I I wasn't like fully out or anything like that. But I developed like a mad crush on him, and he he would talk about like girlfriends and things like that. So I was like, okay, so he's straight. And, oh, God, I would go home and cry. Aww. Oh, my God. You know who it is, too. I do? Yeah, the Frog Prince. Oh. Ugh. I know. No, don't. You can't say his name. But I don't um, even know his name. <laughs> yeah, well, there we go. That's better for me. Um, no, I, I had, like, such a crush on him. I thought he was so cute. And Wait, he has all he? his teeth. Wait, isn't he gay? He is, but he oh. wasn't when we first met. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, He, gotcha. like, came out maybe three years ago. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, so, like, I would be like, oh, my God, he's never going to talk to me because he's a straight boy. But don't but we, you see him from time to time? I, I do see him from time to time because... Um, Where? Um, you know... Steamworks? I, like, some, I've never been to Steamworks. Calm the fuck down. Not that that's bad if you have. That's fine, too. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> I'm more likely to be at Taco Meg, Bell. Don't worry. It's okay that you want to go to Steamworks. Oh my god, if my my mom's name is Meg. If Meg wants to go to Steamworks, which is a bathhouse mom, um, <laughs> you know, we'll go. It'll be weird. She'd be like, this is the strangest drag show I've ever been to. Right. Anyway. No, I think that like everyone's sexual awakenings are so different. Mm-hmm. I just think that like it's so funny. It sounds that, like you really suppressed your gayness. I guess I did. I I mean like not until I was, like, a teenager. Or maybe I just, like, wasn't that attracted to things. I, I don't maybe. know. I was, like... I mean, I always knew deep down I was gay, but I just never wanted to admit it. I was just, like... Well, I didn't have, like, the terminology for a lot of things. Um, and... Or even the idea behind it. I just... I knew I was different. I mean, you had dial-up. Who could blame you? <laughs> <laughs> I had dial-up in 2007. Like, things were hard. Right. I'm just imagining, like, your family had AOL in 2010. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> maybe maybe my AIM name, that, um, which was, are you ready? Yeah. Scout Dude 1234. Scout Dude? Scout were... Dude. Because I was in Boy Scouts and developing crushes on some of the other Boy Scouts. You were still in Boy Scouts in 2010? No. Oh. But I kept the name. Oh, God. I don't even know if that... I, didn't AOL get hacked or something? No, it's just not relevant anymore. Oh. Mood. <laughs> I actually had to have. I actually had to have my boyfriend explain to me AOL because I had no idea what it really was. You, oh please, you didn't know what AOL was. No, because we. You had, never got like the free CDs. No, because we always had dial up, and then we immediately switched to broadband, which is like Wi Fi now. Wow. Yeah. Well, some of us are poor and had to have <laughs> AOL CDs. That yeah, you I had didn't to realize you, it's like internet minutes. Yes. I did not realize that. I had no idea what AOL oh was. God. Do you understand the struggle I had? Do you understand why I wasn't downloading porn? Because evidently that's what 10-year-olds do now. Um, I'm still alarmed by that. And if anyone <laughs> if anyone wants to send up a prayer request tonight. <laughs> just send it Kyle's way. <laughs> Please, I need it. All right. Uh, well, that was a good. I just remember. I just, like, brought up a lot you of things. You thought of so many things. Right. I have, a, um, like, a little list right here list, that I was yeah. just like, oh, like, these are little things I could talk about. And then as we were going on, I was like, oh, my God. 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 Yeah, no, I, I think that, like, my major ones were, like, the underwear aisle mm-hmm. where, you know, dreams are made of. And then, like... <laughs> Hillary Duff's, like, <laughs> at the very end of it waiting for you. Gay icon. She's like, I'm in this aisle, too, for a reason. <laughs> um... <laughs> You should be saying that's so gay. I know. Because I'm like, wow, I'm really gay. She's like, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> I'm really gay. You shouldn't say that. You shouldn't say that. Oh, girl. Oh, that's so funny. Well, if anyone has had any recent sexual awakening... No, I totally worded that wrong. <laughs> if you had a recent sexual awakening? Right. Well, By I, listening to this podcast, well, I hope. Well, yeah, my voice is clear. No, I, you know what my joke is? I think I've said it on here. I'm like, I have a face for radio and a voice for print. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I was going to be like, well, maybe their sexual awakening was my voice. Keep trying. Oh, <laughs> Lord have <laughs> mercy. All right. Well, if anyone wants to share any of their sexual awakenings, feel free to reach out to us. You can leave a comment um, on any of our Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, or SoundCloud pages. Um, or you could follow us at Fear the Queer Podcast. 
Um, I totally forgot where we could follow us. You go ahead. You can follow us on Instagram at Fear the Queer Podcast. You can like us on Facebook. Yes. And remember to like and subscribe us on all the ways that you can listen to us uh, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and SoundCloud because... Please leave... Uh, reviews and feedback. Yeah, because that, really that helps. helps people find us and listen to us, um, you know, rattle on about our sexual awakenings. And the fact that Kyle still has AOL. I do. <laughs> I do. I bet, you know, I'm going to go home tonight and I'm going to be like, okay. Yeah, S- you just hear the dialogue like, like, in the background. <laughs> that would be a great, like, ringtone. I love that. Um, so thank uh, you for listening to us. Yes. And as always, I'm Kyle. And I'm Josh. And we're Fear, Fear the, the Queer. queer. Bye. Bye. Yeah.